Hello everyone, and welcome to Hearthstone. I've got a deck for you today that I am actually pretty happy with, and I feel is competitive because it's mostly based off of the Dragon deck. That's why it's called Dragons of Justice, is because it's quite literally the deck that uh, Blizzard decided to make. However, I made a bit of uh, different choices with it. To be fair, let's call them that. For one, I got, like, only one of the Equality Pyromancer combo. I only have one of those. I have Blessing of Might in here. I kept these because these are always good. Uh, Twilight Guardian's always good. Blessed Champion. I got that in there as well. Added that in because I thought it was good. For all... For the Scaled Nightmare, which is... I mean... It's a card that people have to answer because if they don't, it quickly scales out of control. I also have Deathwing Dragon Lord because that can basically summon Ysera, Childmo, Scaled Nightmare, Azure Drake, like Fairy Dragons. It can summon basically most of the dragons of this deck. Like there's only Twilight Guardians, Dragon Consort. Those are the only dragons in this deck that actually would be bad for Deathwing Dragon Lord to summon to the field. Every other dragon though is perfectly fine. So I think Deathwing Dragon Lord actually works really well in this deck. Because I mean it's a 10 mana 12 12. Once again, it's a card that somebody has to answer. Not to mention the uh fact that there's so many uh spells being played currently. Fairy Dragon's actually really good because of how many spells there are. Ooh, fighting another pally though. This will be interesting. I will command the light. I don't like any of this, but I'm gonna keep Aldor because it's a three drop, so it's within the first three turns. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. RNG is not good with me right now. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Do I just coin the fairy? I do. That is not good for me, man. That's so bad. Do that, and I'm just gonna go face. Odds are he'll trade. He'll put that one once in there and shit me. like that. Except the mice. Reporting for duty. He's got to be a divine shield deck. That makes logical sense for him to be a Divine Shield deck. I have to keep on curve. That's like, it may not be the most optimal play, but I gotta keep on curve. Not being on curve is really bad. Reporting for duty. Last warning. I mean, this is basically the same scenario, except this time he can actually use a spell on this one. So he's Divine Shield Paladin, there's no doubt about it. He's Divine Shield Paladin. I think I want to play Asher Drake right now, because I don't really have that many good cards at the moment. So it's Dragon versus Divine Shield right now. This is some ridiculous bullshit no right here. Oh, this. Sylvanas, fuck you, my god. We do that. And then we play him. That deals with Sylvanas rather effectively, I'm not gonna lie. Sylvanas could have been a huge play, but thankfully I was able to counter it. Equality just to kill one minion. It's not good, but it's not bad either. I don't like 
this play, but it's kind of the only play that I have I have to do it to keep control. Next play, I guess I keep her a Voldemort that 1-1 that I have on the field. And just keep putting on pressure, make him have to respond to me. Reporting for duty. Oh. Actually, he's swinging at my face now, so he's kind of going wild right now. Play keeper of Oldman. Wipe his board. None may steal our secrets. Reporting for the battle. Do that. Okay. I'm kind of putting him in a situation where he wants to use that weapon to kill the three four. I mean that leaves me with my three two. Jeweled Scarab, if that's his turn nine first play, is trying to get a card. I think that puts me in a good position. I don't have any of my really good cards, but this should be in a more beneficial position for me. Uh, he pulled Harvest Golem. Interesting. Okay. And there's Consecration. I can still answer his board, actually, quite effectively. I wield the power. Do I do this? Yeah. I do. It makes things a bit more difficult for him. I, I keep that equality till I get uh, my wild Put pyromancer. No! No! Thankfully, we have an Aldor Peacekeeper. Hey, there's Dragon Lord. But we need to respond to this guy first. Then we'll play you. Then we'll do this. And I guess we'll pop the bubble for the moment. Because why not? Dragon Lord comes out next turn, though. Even though... It's not the best. It still puts so much pressure that he has to fucking respond to it. Okay. Are you going to attack with him? Or... Okay. Oh my god! So annoying! Alright. I guess I can't play Dragon Lord yet. The light protects me. Reporting for duty. For I'll tank justice. the face. I mean, either way, I was gonna have to do it like that, so. What is that secret then? Competitive spirit? Yeah. Well, I mean, him getting a 3 2 is not actually that bad. Dragon Lord has to come out next turn, though. I can't dance around it. Dragon Lord has to come out. And if he doesn't answer it, I have my lethal. Fuck! Reporting for duty. He has lethal. Ugh. How do, how do I answer that? I don't. I don't is the answer. I, I don't have a way to deal with that. Man. He didn't even... Like, no, he did. Tyrion basically won him this game. Because Tyrion is just so fucking good. I don't even know what I can do right now to live. There's no answers here. There's literally none. There's nothing I can do to live. Because this will only heal me by two, which I'm still within lethal. If I had gotten a taunt, that damn dragon taunt, I might have had a chance. But no, I don't. Fuck me, come on. The victory is yours. Just so happened I got super fucked at the start. Like, holy shit, that was painful fucking at the start. Like, the person, like, freaking Hearthstone, it, the game in general, decided to just go straight into my fucking ass there without any lubrication. That's what just fucking happened there. I got fucked at the start of the game really hard. Versus Valera. 
Uh, counters. She's a very good counter against my power. It's going turn one. I need a perfect curve here. Fuck you, game. Unless you give me a one drop straight off the bat. Of course you don't. It's not like I have this deck full of one drops, so it's like only three one drops, I believe. I mean, I'm gonna do this, but chances are it's just gonna get backstabbed. Maybe if he plays something instead, like, oh, coin, it's gonna be SI. Ha, this guy's a toast. I mean, that gets Aldord. Just because it's a tempo play, not because I really think it's a big threat. I mean, it still does three damage, but Aldor has to be played. There's no if and or but about it. Aldor has to be played. And here's the part where he plays... Yep, Deadly Poison. What a marvelous thing that this guy keeps getting perfect counters to everything I have on the field. How fucking marvelous. Dragon Consort's probably going to have to be used to get Chillmall out. Maybe not. Maybe if he can't deal with this taunt, and then I can put Dragon Consort up safely, maybe I can actually wait on it and sit for a more valuable dragon. No. A, a fucking course not. Of course, sap. I mean, you successfully did what? You postponed me one turn? I'll just throw him out again. I mean, if that's your answer, if that's what your big plan is there... You're gonna have some trouble coming, friend. I might, I might want to wait, for Dragon Consort, for a bit. What lurks in the Damn, man. Yeah, I guess I'll do it like this since I just got that two drop. I was, I was kind of in a position where I was gonna have to do that either way. Battle cry, give your. Give plus one, plus one to your minions with Divine Shield. I don't really have those. I'll definitely use Divine Favor, though, then, out of all of those. Beneath the grounds. Knifing up. If one of those spiders shows up, I have my weapon. We're going to go ahead and show them off here. And we're just going to hold on to the weapon to respond to if one of those fucking spiders shows. Or if he plays something big enough threat that I have to respond. <sighs> those knives just flew. Um, okay... What the fuck are you? Acolyte of Pain, I guess. Do I take a swing at it? I think I do. I think it's a big enough threat to swing at. None may steal What's justice? Reporting for duty. That thing, yeah, with the fact that I'm already at like five health, that thing's a big enough threat. Needed to respond there. But if he doesn't answer this turn, if he does not clear my board properly, aka if he doesn't kill Chill there, if he doesn't kill my Chilladin there, what is Chill Maw? If he doesn't kill Chill Maw, I will win because then I can double Chill Maw to 12 attack. Oh shit, what the fuck are you about to play? Blade Flurry? That's 2 damage. Give 3 attack to a minion. Okay, I win. GG. Alright, that's fine. GG, I win. Not in my house. See, that divine thing's actually pretty good because most dragons have high attack. So that divine blessing's actually really good. It's really good because it just it gives you basically another one of those dragons on the field. 
really good for uh, hitting people when you can actually establish a board. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed dragons, because I certainly do. I didn't think that they would be that effective in Paladin, but they are damn effective in Paladin. And Paladin's like my favorite class, considering that it's also my highest level class. That should say a lot. I've played a shit ton of Paladin, because I like Paladin a lot. Anyways, I'll see you all next time.